Well, the Statutes Authorities Review Committee is currently conducting an inquiry into the Stormwater Management Authority and we recently heard from the Gawler River Floodplain Management Authorities Ian Baldwin and David Hitchcock who revealed that the cost of the flood mitigation project for the Gawler River will now be in the region of $40 million up from the original $27 million in 2016. Furthermore, it could take up to seven years for substantial work to be done. Now, my concern is that since the last flood in 2016, there's been a lot of talk, planning, setting up committees, but no action on fixing the problem. Now, particularly with the Riverley development of Buckland Park proceeding, albeit with some water management plans of their own, uh, but it's going to have to be incorporated into the plans of the Gore River floodplain uh, management project. Um, now, we have to remember that this is still a flood prone area. We know that the cost of these flooding events is extremely high. The last three events in 1992, 2005 and 2016 cost around $120 million. And now another could happen very soon, um, well before the seven years that uh, this project could, could be um, uh, completed. And let's just look at what's happening in New South Wales right now. That's the last thing we want to happen uh, in this very vital food producing area and we must protect it, not shove it aside as not being a priority. Now the, um, uh, the GRFMA is doing all it can to lobby state, federal and local governments for the funds needed uh, and of course this needs to be split three ways. Um, so that's about $14 million the six councils in the area have to find for the project let alone the three hundred or $400,000 required each year just to maintain it. Um, after the 2016 flood, a review recommended levy systems for the Northern Floodway, an early warning system be put in place, uh, but little has happened. There's been no action. The state government has allocated $9 million for four so-called no-regret projects on the Gawler River, and it's small stuff, really, like clearing trees from a fire that was there uh, some time ago, flow gauges on the North Parangola River and some mitigation work in the city of Playford. The fourth project is to be spent on developing another plan. So how many plans do we need before something is actually done? Now that's my worry and it will take councils up to three years just to develop those plans. So in all, seven years before anything is done is what the committee was told. Now if I was living in that floodplain area right now, I'd be alarmed and quite angry. So there's never been a commitment beyond that $9 million from state government of either persuasion to spend more on these mitigation works? No, no. And, 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 and it's not because the, uh, the GF... Uh, the G, uh, the, it's not because the Gawler River Floodplain Management Authority hasn't been trying. I mean, they've been lobbying hard. Uh, but councils don't have that sort of revenue. Um, and it, it, it's really up to the state government to uh, lobby the federal government and get some funding for it before we have another situation like we're seeing in New South Wales right now. So we're five years down from that last flood and as you've listed since 92 there's been three serious floods so we're really playing with the clock in a dangerous way. Yes and, and look uh, the clock is ticking down and those growers, those food producers in this food bowl area, this important food bowl area of South Australia uh, know that. And they're angry and they're not happy that the, these problems are not being addressed uh, in the manner and given the priority that they should be. And this is what we need to do. And the government and Minister Spears needs to get out there and have a look for himself and, and then come to uh, a decision to recommend that the government put in the money that's required. Now, as we've already heard, because of Buckland Park and other issues, the cost is now going to be $40 million. Now, you don't want to be uh, reluctant to uh, start coughing up money now because the figure's blown out and then have a situation like we had in 2016 and you have all the breastfeeding and mere culpas and saying, oh, we can't allow this to happen ag again, then have another review. People are sick of reviews. People are sick of talking. People are sick of committees and planning. They want to see money put in 
and these projects come to fruition. They actually want to see work being done, and nothing much is being done at the moment. Yeah. Not much. And we can see from the Northern Expressway there's, and with the government's future housing plans, the movement seems to be in the northern direction for the metropolitan area, which puts some pressure on those farmers as well. But within seven years of potentially any work being done, we could be looking at a lot more housing in that floodplain. Well, yeah, and, and just think about it. How many houses are going to be built in that project? You just think about how many houses are going to be in that project. When it rains and we have heavy rain, where is all that stormwater going to go? Where is it going to go? How is it going to be channelled away? Uh, and, and we're in a floodplain area. Now, you know, the government needs to really take a serious look at themselves and at, and at the problem that is just you know, a, a disaster that is, again, waiting to happen. History tells us they happen about every 10 years, and the clock is ticking down now, Ricky.